But speaking of that civil case, Donald Trump and Michael Cohn coming face to face for the first time in five years in a Manhattan courtroom today with Cohn, the former lawyer and so-called fixer, taking the stand as a key witness in the civil fraud case against Trump. We'll talk to someone who was inside the courtroom in a moment. Cohn telling the court that it was his job to, quote, inflate assets to whatever figure Trump told him to. Quote, I was tasked by Mr. Trump to increase the total assets based upon a number that he arbitrarily selected and to reverse engineer the various different asset classes, increase those assets in order to achieve the number that Mr. Trump had tasked us. Late in the day, Cohn's criminal history taking center stage. In 2018, he pled guilty to a campaign finance violation, lying to Congress during a separate probe of Trump's business dealings, which he testified was at, quote, the direction of and in concert with and for the benefit of Donald Trump. And Trump's legal team pounced on this, and it got heated. Trump attorney Alina Haba asking Cohn if he told his wife he was committing tax evasion. Cohn responded angrily, raising his voice at Haba over the direction of her questions. The AG's team jumped in, calling the line of questioning below the belt. Haba then asked Cohn if his wife signed those tax returns in questions to which Cohn then responds as if he's almost the attorney, not the witness, saying, asked and answered. Didn't end there. Another Trump attorney, Chris Kyes, then jumped up and called Cohn completely out of control. The witness doesn't get to sit here and play judge. Cohn then asked Haba if she had a question. She then said, you've lied under oath numerous times. Isn't that correct, Mr. Cohn? Cohn responded, that is correct. Court was adjourned. Their cross ex the cross-examination will continue tomorrow. Outside the courthouse, Trump wasting no time taking shots at Cohn. The witness is totally discredited already, and they haven't even started, but he's totally discredited. He's their only witness. They use somebody that's a felon, that's a, a disgrace. Have many other clients, by the way, not just me, but here, many clients, but uh, he's a disgraced felon, and that's the way it's coming out. And somehow, Cohn's testimony wasn't the only drama in the trial this week. A COVID outbreak among the New York Attorney General's team sparked outrage among Trump's legal team. And even Trump, who was not wearing a mask in court today, raised concerns about the outbreak, saying, quote, what they did with COVID in the courtroom was a disgrace. They should apologize. Trump's team protested that court shouldn't have been in session today, said the Attorney General knew of a COVID case on their team last Wednesday. They didn't notify Trump's team until Saturday. Joining me now is Frank Runyon. He's the New York courts reporter for Law 360. He was inside that courtroom today. Whoo! Uh, oh, that was a sight we've been waiting to see. <laughs> yeah. Cohen versus Trump. How you know? far apart are they sitting in the courtroom? Uh, some 20 odd feet, something like that. But um, they were, yeah, I, I, it's, uh, you know, I almost expected more, to be honest, between the two of them. But... You almost expected them to go to blows, right? You're, you're like, man, if they didn't actually get into it, then, you know. I didn't catch any yeah. dirty looks, personally, I'm, yeah. uh, even. But there was definitely some frustration on, on Trump's side with the way that the trial is obviously going. Yeah. Well, what is this thing about COVID? They were mad that what they were claiming that they were basically exposed to COVID? Yeah. Um, yes. Um, and I, I will note that nobody on the defense table was, was wearing a mask. Um, but they made very clear they're very upset about uh, the attorney generals not notifying them uh, until now and objected to the whole proceedings. And that's how we started the day. Does Michael Cohn seem, you know, like defiant in there? I mean, he's been waiting for this moment for years. I mean, right? His practice runs have been in all the media he's been doing, right? Sometimes yeah. confrontational, et cetera. Right. And now here he is right. facing off with Donald Trump's lawyer, with yeah. Donald Trump sitting in the courtroom. Does it feel like this is his moment? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, uh, he is key to the conspiracy evidence in this case, which is an important part of what needs to be proved right now. So um, he was talking about how Alan Weisselberg and Trump and he were in the room and Trump said, you know, my, I'm, I actually am worth more money than this. And then he and Weisselberg would go off and they would figure out, well, how can we boost this uh, asset up? How can we, uh, you know, get this number higher? And then they'd come back and Trump would approve it. And that's what Cohen testified today. Now, Cohen, this is him on his way to court uh, today. Um, he's basically saying that his credibility shouldn't be the issue. Let's listen. My credibility should not be in question. Yes, I pled guilty to a 1001 violation, which was lying to Congress. But I have also 
requested that people continue the sentence. And the sentence is, I did it at the direction of, in concert with, and for the benefit of Donald J. Trump. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.